What is going on YouTube? Today we got something special going on on the garage, not in the garage. Well, it's in the garage, but it's for the garage, in the garage. I don't know how you want to say it. Oh, hello and welcome to Better Than Common Garage. I'm your host, I think, for the most part. No, that was stupid. If you look, big old fat stack of insulation. You notice there is inch and a half down here at the bottom and two inch on top. The two inch I'm gonna put up in the ceilings and the inch and a half I wanna put on the walls. So I have dad come over last night. We got the first row up, which was well, kind of the easiest. Got a bunch of junk I had to work around but other, like there was no obstructions on the ceiling I had to work around. But tonight, uh, dad is busy. So I'm gonna see what I can do by myself. I'm gonna try to get the lights on this half of the garage pulled off. And that'll allow me to go put another row up. We'll see how well I'm good at driving screws by myself. So I might put this on time-lapse and see what I can get out of this. So we got lights on that half of the building down. That one is a little tight. On the other side of this pile, there wasn't a whole lot of room to work. You see I had her tight there. And I mean, it pushed the foam a little bit, but I got it down. But we did have casualty of war. There's my drill. There's my battery. Dag Nabbit, Deputy Dog. Look at that. Oh. Now, <laughs> full disclosure, I've fixed this battery a couple times. And I'll probably end up fixing it again. But let's see what other things I can get into one person. All right, quick update here from the shop. As you can see, I'm on some scaffolding here and we're in the, the rafters of my building. Um, so last I left off, oh, watch that fan blade. The last I left off, I think we had one row of insulation. Now you can see there are uh, two more rows on. So a total of three rows in <clears throat> and we're making progress, but I came to a standstill because these outlets that I have going down the center here, as you might notice, they're not in line anymore. They were, but what happens is as I'm putting this insulation up, we're gaining in thickness. So now my outlet is recessed two inches deep. Now you can put an extension on this box that gets you about an inch, but then you're still, you know, a, a, an inch shy. So what I've been doing is pulling these boxes off and then dropping them. Let's see if you can see that. Oops. Yeah, you sort of see that there. It's not quite perfectly level with the, with the edge of the foam, but it's pretty close. And I've been putting 
some screws in to the box because obviously the nails, the nails that these come with aren't gonna work when you drop it down. And I haven't left too much extra slop in this wiring and able to do that, so it's been a little difficult. And that's where I'm at. I'm, we had to stop and move the boxes down so we can continue putting up foam. And also while I was at it, I moved my lights. I took down this whole side here and I uh, took them down, put this insulation up. And now I took this, this side down also and just moved them over to this side. And then I, instead of using like the little chains, I just run a screw up through it, through the insulation and into the, uh, into the rafter, which been working pretty good. Um, not 100% sold on how I have it done, but for now it's working. And the nice thing about this is they're just plugged in. So if I want to change it, I can just come up here and pull the plug, undo two screws and fix it however I want. Um, now you might notice like the seam here. See that seam? You can sort of see it. This foam is, uh, this insulation is actually seconds I got off a guy and the there's a lot of variances in this product. That's why they're seconds and not, you know, regular foam board. And that's why it's a discounted price. One of the biggest ones I've noticed is the uh, thickness varies pretty greatly. I have some boards there that are like, like two and a quarter inches thick. And then I have some in here that are, you know, inch and, well, inch and seven eighths, inch and three quarter. I mean, there's a pretty big variance in thickness there. And then some of them aren't cut square on the ends and just little things like that, but nothing I can't work around. But uh, progress has been slow getting these boxes moved. I gotta move that one and that one and that one and also get rid of the fan. So I put the fan up this summer, which is awesome. Highly recommend that, but now I gotta move it all, so. And then also while I'm up here, I want to put in some sort of uh, a way to access up here above the insulation, some sort of board or whatnot that I can easily take down and get up in here if I ever need to get up and run some wires or whatnot. But it's coming around. my uh, guesstimating skills are. Let's go this way. Yeah, this way.
Let me get you guys bring you up here and see how this works actually so put some marks I can have it put some marks right here so you can see them they should in theory Beauty. Just need to get a couple. Sky root is right there. Couple down here. It's like I knew what I was doing or something. Don't tell anybody. I wish I wouldn't have done that. It makes me about half bitter. That's all for this evening. I'll be back tomorrow, maybe? Hopefully. Man, that's awesome. Don't hit your head.
hole. We cut a half inch off in this. Yeah. Man, that's a fat piece there. A little thick. Well, it's me again. We're back in the shop. As you might be able to see behind me, I have most of the insulation up. I put some up on the walls. The ceilings are all done. Most of the walls are done, but I've run out of insulation. So I got all those walls done. The, se the seams are all taped. They're all done around through here, down along there. And you can notice I don't have, I have up there, but not down here. And what I did was I run short, but I had enough to do all of the tops. 
of the like each section between the posts. So that's what I did. I went ahead and did all that. Now I'm gonna go. I have to buy. Um, I think it's eleven more sheets. So I got to buy eleven more sheets of insulation to finish this job. But I'm gonna end this video off here. Uh, thank you all for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you haven't done that already, please do so. Uh, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.